What's a contingency in real estate, you ask? Well, we are talking about that today, starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley Journey and I'm your local Charlottesville realtor with Town. You can learn more about us in Charlottesville real estate by visiting our website at townseville.com. For any big purchase in life, working without a safety net can be risky, especially when hundreds of thousands of dollars are on the line. When making an offer to purchase a home, you have the opportunity to protect yourself from the unexpected in a home transaction and to ensure you're getting what you're paying for. Today's video will define what exactly a contingency is, how a home status changes once a contingent offer is accepted, and a recommendation of a few important contingencies to consider as part of your offer. Okay, everyone, I have some really exciting news. I got merchandise! My friend Karen Carr, who my channel's inspired by, got me this t-shirt for getting 100 subscribers. I'm really happy about that. Thank you all for your support. I hope everyone is finding my videos helpful. After you get to 100 subscribers, YouTube allows you to make a custom URL, and so I decided to go with Ashley Journey Realtor. I was really excited to wear my shirt and show all of you guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and do that in the bottom right-hand corner of this video, and also tap the bell to get notified whenever I make a new video. If you're watching this on Facebook, click on the link to take you to YouTube where you can subscribe there. So we're just going to jump right into this week's video. What does active contingent mean? A home status changes to active contingent when a home seller has received an offer from a buyer, but the buyer needs to meet certain conditions before a sale can be finalized. A contingency is a clause written within the literature of the contract or offer. These are conditions or contingencies that have to be met before you can close. These conditions may include a home inspection or getting approval on a mortgage or an appraisal. Here are some different contingencies for buyers to consider. Mortgage financing contingency. This contingency gives the buyer a way to back out of the contract if an application for financing is denied or if financing is granted for a lesser amount, say if the home appraises for less than expected. Home inspection clause. This allows buyers to bring in a professional home inspector to inspect the property and to cancel or renegotiate the deal. If the inspection turns up a less than satisfactory result, such as significant structural flaws or major costly repairs, buyers have the right to ask the seller to lower the sale price, offer buyer credits, or ask for necessary fixes to be completed before the close of the sale. Contingencies for additional specialists and tests. If the initial inspection turns up issues, additional inspections by specialists or other tests may be required. This contingency allows buyers to have the home checked for things like mold and other toxic substances, as well as wood destroying pests like termites. It also allows for other specialists like chimney inspectors and foundation experts to come look at the property before the sale is complete. Attorney Review Contingency. This clause can give the buyer and the seller a specific amount of time as specified in the contract to have their legal team inspect the signed contract. The lawyer will review the legality of the contract and check for important safeguards for their clients before the deal is done. Buyer's Home Sale Contingency. This clause allows the buyer to cancel the contract without penalty if they're unable to sell their current home in a specified amount of time. This way, if the buyer is under contract to sell their residence and the deal falls through, they won't be obligated to purchase the new property. Appraisal Contingency this clause permits the buyer to have the home appraised, which is a must for many buyers financing their purchase. 
and to only follow through with the sale if the appraisal matches or exceeds the home's price. If you're using a lender, it's smart to check to see if they require this contingency as part of your purchase contract. Contingencies can seem confusing, but understanding them and including them in your contract is essential to protecting yourself. Think of a contingency in a contract as a safety net for both the buyer and a seller. So that's all I have for you guys today. If you liked this video or found it informative, please give me some love and like this video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We are talking Charlottesville, Virginia and real estate every Wednesday. I hope you will join me in next week's video.